Hello, my name is Dr. Floyd Thompson. I'm a VA psychiatrist. I've been a VA psychiatrist for about 14 years now. Uh, for as long as I've, I can remember, I've been uh, an artist and uh, I enjoy uh, drawing. Most of my artwork now is digital. Um, and so uh, the pieces that are part of this collection uh, reflect diversity and inclusivity. Um, and uh, I hope that you enjoy it. Thanks. All right. So the uh, the first picture that uh, I drew uh, is the uh, celebrating Black history. And so all of these uh, pieces were created in uh, 2020 for the most part. Um, and I think that it was a period of significant change uh, for this country, uh, both on uh, social social justice and uh, the healthcare front with COVID-19. Um, and so uh, this piece was done just to celebrate Black history. Um, because for so long it has not been celebrated. Um, and in a sense, uh, you know, uh, this country's tried to minimize a lot of the contributions uh, that many Black Americans have made. And so um, uh, I just wanted to celebrate, uh, you know, uh, our contributions to the development and the creation of this country. So um, uh, I wanted to uh, really point out in the picture that um, uh, the diversity in the picture. So uh, Black Americans uh, are not a monolith. So, uh, and I hope that this picture really uh, illustrates and reflects uh, our diversity. Um, the uh, next piece is the uh, uh, father with the uh, little boy and the little girl. And so um, this piece of uh, art doesn't really have a title. Um, I just wanted to convey the fact uh, that fathers are important and they're uh, very much needed. Um, and I think that uh, many times the role of fathers is minimized in society. And so um, I think uh, this is especially true if we look at the way that, you know, fathers are portrayed in the media. So, you know, uh, a couple of archetypes is either being, you know, completely clueless or, you know, kind of primitive and emotionally distant, uh, overly stern. And so, um, and I think that black fathers uh, have their own stereotypes uh, to deal with, uh, including uh, kind of the unproven notion that somehow we're uh, not present in our children's lives. So, um, so this illustration, um, is just showing that, um, it's okay to, uh, kiss and hug your children as a father. It's okay to show vulnerability. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that was the main uh, point of this piece. So, uh, the Juneteenth picture, uh, has a little bit of a story behind it. So, uh, COVID-19 interrupted our annual Juneteenth celebrations, both in 2020 and 2021. Uh, and, uh, my mother's side of the family is from Texas. So, uh, it's always, Juneteenth has always played it, uh, a really huge role in our lives. It's a, uh, you know, a big day of celebration and reflection, uh, certainly more than a holiday, uh, for many, uh, African Americans. So, um, so I just wanted to draw a picture that symbolized, uh, freedom, becoming unshackled, becoming free. Um, uh, I didn't really put any type of facial expressions on the characters, um, uh, because I would hope that the person looking at it could kind of see themselves in the picture. So, um, it's meant to, uh, uh for you to be able to project, you know, your, your experience, your face, uh, onto the various pictures, um, and the characters in the picture. So, uh, and I just think it's a holiday that, uh, you know, this country, but especially black Americans, uh, should cherish and celebrate. So the um, I Have a Dream picture uh, was actually done this year. So um, and so uh, I think the speech to me symbolizes hope. Uh, certainly when we're confronted with uh, acts of horrible injustice and acts of pure evil, like we uh, witnessed in uh, uh, Buffalo, New York, uh, sometimes it feels like all we have left is hope and uh, the hope that things will get better uh, when other avenues of change have been exhausted. So um, as far as the speech itself, uh, there are no particular parts that, you know, resonate with me. In fact, the entire speech resonates with me. And so uh, I think that when you try to whittle down uh, such a massive speech into these little, you know, kind of bite-sized pieces or sound bites or inspirational quotes, you do the entire body of work uh, that Dr. King wrote uh, in Injustice. So uh, uh, I think that Dr. King's speech is a living body of work uh, that continues to prove uh, more and more relevant as time goes on. So the uh, the next drawing is the uh, father 
uh, and children uh, with the Southwestern background. So I chose these colors because uh, it's a pretty common color palette out here in the Southwest, like the purples, the pinks, uh, kind of the orangish uh, yellow colors. So, um, and uh, again, another father, Father's Day uh, type illustration. Um, and uh, in, in most of my drawings with children, I have the adults kneeling and it's just, a, um, for me, it's a sign of like humility. Um, and some people might look down on that, but I, I enjoy uh, meeting children, especially my children on their level in a certain sense. So, uh, and trying to see things from their perspective. Um, so getting on the floor, rolling around with them, uh, hugging them while I'm on my knees, as far as my children. Um, and I think it just, like I said, it shows humility, it shows kindness. Uh, and I think that if we did that uh, as adults, as far as trying to see things from other people's perspective, uh, we'd be a lot better off than we are now. So um, I think if a fellow human being is uh, hurting and crying uh, for help because of an injustice, instead of, you know, kind of digging your heels in and kind of uh, refusing to give an inch, uh, maybe just try to meet them and see things uh, where they're at. So, um, so yeah. So uh, the next piece is called uh, Celebrate Fathers. And uh, this illustration is a little bit different than the others because I actually show faces and facial expressions. And so uh, typically when I show figures with closed eyes, um, it's just meant uh, to symbolize that they're just reflecting on things and, uh, and reflecting on life. The hands are really, really big. The father's hands are really, really big uh, in this picture uh, just uh, as a sign of protection and, 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 uh, you know, protecting uh, his kids, uh, keeping them grounded. Um, uh, the father has uh, one knee down, um, but also one knee up. Um, and so uh, I think the knee down is just, uh, again, the kind of theme of humility, showing some humility. And the knee that's up is, uh, you know, meant to symbolize being able to and being ready to stand up and protect your family if you have to. So